Welcome back to NRL 360. We're lucky to have Melbourne Storm Croak coach Craig Bellamy joining us now as they have their first game this week following round one in Vegas. And you, surely, Craig, you would have watched the extravaganza over there in Las Vegas. Uh, what did you think of it? Actually, Braith, I didn't see a whole lot, a lot of it. I was up uh, vis visiting my daughter up at uh, the Gold Coast, actually. But I, I seen uh, most of the second half of the first game and and most of the first half of the second game. So I've seen a bit of it. And I, you know, I thought both games were, you know, pretty high quality, especially for you know early in the season. And um, you know, I think they uh, they they done a great job of uh, representing our game over there. Craig, I, don't, I hate to cut straight to the point, but I ask you this question every pre-season. Pre -season. Is this your last? Have you made a decision yet? What's <laughs> happening? No, well, as you sort of know, Rudy, it's sort of every year I make it. Um, I haven't really sort of thought about it too much. Obviously, I've been pretty busy getting ready for the season and, um, you know, travelled in both of our trials. So, um, yeah, like I say, I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last. But like I say, I've said that before, so I don't really want to, um, you know, make any outlandish statements. But, uh, yeah, like we just get into the season and then see what happens. Weren't you going to make a decision though, Craig, before round one? Wasn't that what you, you promised last year? <laughs> no, well, they actually uh, changed that. Um, our, our board, they said that they'd give me a little bit longer. So I think they've done the same this year. <laughs> hey, Craig, Dave, Riccio, mate, uh, what if Vegas is involved next year? Would that get you over the line to go around again? <laughs> Oh, no, I, I don't think that would, you know, it's only the, the one week, one game type thing. So, um, obviously, look, you know, really exciting time for the, uh, you know, for rugby league in general, but, all, you know, obviously the, the four teams that went over. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, an event that's going to stay, obviously. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, like it was great for our game. And, uh, but, you know, I don't think that'll come into uh, calculations. Billy, you made the prelim last year with the Melbourne Storm and for your standards that are so high, probably didn't reach your expectations. Uh, what's the plans this year and uh, what's going to change this year? Yeah, well, like, you know, I think last year, Braith, as you say, you know, we were really happy you know, with getting to a prelim, to be quite honest. I thought we you know, done a great job. Um, you know, we had a little bit of change. Um, you know, losing some experience in our forge with the Bromwich boys and, uh, and Foose, you know, going up to the Dolphins. So uh, that put a little bit of a hold in us. But um, like I say, I was really, you know, proud of them, you know, to go to the prelim. But the way we went out against, you know, the two top sides, obviously the Broncos and, and, and the Panthers in the finals was extremely uh, disappointing. You know, we bowed out without a, a whimper, uh, really. So... I think, you know, the one thing, you know, that we need to improve is in our consistency of doing, you know, the things that we know work for us. Uh, you, know, you know, we played some really good footy last year, but we played some poor footy as well. So I think that's always been a strong trait, you know, of the storm, you know, just being consistent and making sure, you know, we know what we're good at and, um, and, and, and playing to those strengths. But uh, last year we were very inconsistent. So that's the thing that uh, we'll be looking to be better at this year. Craig, you mentioned you, you lost a, a few of your key forwards a couple of years ago heading into last year. And a lot of the experts, spur, experts are saying that you, you don't have the pack to win the Premiership. What do you say to that? Yeah, well, again, you know, um, you know they might be right. They, they might be wrong at the end of the day. You know, we're just going to make sure we work hard and give... You know, everyone in that position, a, a real good opportunity. You know, to to make their mark. You know, and um, like I say, we're uh, you know this week. You know, we've got a you know, a couple of guys missing in the middle, but you know, we've got some some young guys that are you know really keen to to get out there and and show what they've got. And like I say, you know, they we we play to our strengths and they play to their strengths. And um, you know, I'm sure they'll be fine. Can I ask about one of those young guys, Craig Joe Chan? He's the son of Alex Chan. Uh, he was outstanding in Fiji in that trial last week. You've named him start this week. What do you like about Joe? Yeah, well, he's been with us for a little while. Joe, he's, um, uh, him and Alex are the first father-son we've had at the club. So, um, yeah, that's a, a, you know, a, a nice uh, milestone, I suppose, you know, to have for the club. But, um, you know, Joe is... is Taking a little while to settle in, he, he played with the Catlins over in uh, the Super League over in um, over in Europe. So uh, he came over, he took a little 
while to get used to the pace of the game. But, um, you know, he's, he's a very mobile forward. He's a bit like his old man. He's got a little bit of fire, a little bit of aggression in him, which, which we like. Um, and he's done a really good job in the trials. So, um, you know, we're thinking, you know, he, he can add a bit to us. And um, I think, you know, he's, as I said, he's been with us a little while. I think he's only played the two first grade games off the bench. So, um, you know, he's, you know, we do think he's ready. And, um, you know, obviously we'll see on, uh, on Friday night. But as I say, you know, he gives us some r- real pace on that edge. And, um, you know, we think he'll do a really good job. Craig, uh, Cam Munster, that groin injury, what's the latest? Does he play Friday night? Say again, sorry? Cam Munster with the groin injury, does he play on Friday night? Uh, <laughs> um, we're still hopeful that he's a chance. It's, it's been a little bit up and down, um, obviously, since the incident uh, over in Fuji. So, um, yeah, it's been, you know... Some days we think, yeah, he'll play for sure. And other days, you know, he sort of goes downhill a bit. So we'll check him out on Thursday and uh, see where he's at. Uh, you know, obviously we're not going to take any chances with him. And, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how he pulls up Thursday after our training session. Craig, you've got this imposing record come round one every season. 22 years in a row you've won the first game. This time, for the first time, I believe, you're up against the reigning premiers, Penrith. Couple of things. First, uh, I know you, it's not a record that you can really sort of put too much into, but it, it, it's still something that, that shows everybody what, what sort of shape you get your guys in over the off season. How they're always always ready to go in round one. Uh, but coming up against Penrith, uh, the premiers, how's that different? And why is this Penrith team so good? Three premierships in a row. They're a magnificent side. Oh, without a doubt, you know. <laughs> You know, this is probably the, the, the toughest game we've had, um, you know, first up that, that I can remember anyway, you know, like playing the, the, the Premiers. And, you know, they're just so relentless and, and ruthless of what they do. You know, as I was talking about consistency, they they know what, what works for them and, you know, they, they just stick to it and, you know, they're very good at it. You know, everyone in their team knows what their role is and, you know, they play it really well. So, you know, you just got to... You know, I suppose people call it the long game these days, but uh, you know, I think uh, you know Nathan Clear is you know probably you know the most influential influential player in the competition. You know, I think he's probably the, the the best player in the competition. You know, with his ability to pass, run, but also you know kick as well. So um, you know, I think he, he's he's one hell of a player, and obviously the other guys just knowing what their role is, and you know they're tough. You know, tough. Um, defensively, you know, they, they, they keep their line, they, they get numbers in tackles, you know, like I say, they're, so they're really well drilled and um, they've got some, you know, real class there as well and obviously uh, to win three premierships, um, you know, that's not an easy thing to do and that just about sums up how good they are. What's the secret to beating a team like that, that that are so disciplined and so relentless and just can, can just stay in their, their systems for so long without seeming to panic? Is there a, is there a way they've got to be played? Oh, well, you know, obviously, you know, like, as I said, you know, like at the end of the day, there's some things that, you know, that you could probably, um, you know, do to help you sort of, you know, go with them but if that's not part of your strengths well you know that's not going to work so what we need to do is just make sure that you know we know what our strengths are and we do know what our strengths are we just got to make sure you know we do them on uh friday night but do them consistently for 80 minutes and you know that might that will give us a chance to uh get the result we want craig very rarely in this game do we see five-year deals for Young players, and you and last week the Melbourne Storm announced the re-signing of Suafia Longo for a five-year term. That shows uh, immense faith and and hope for such a young talent. Can you explain what you think of this guy, and also what role he'll play this year? Yeah, it's a good question. You know about the role. Um, obviously, you know his best position we think is fullback, and uh, we got a pretty good fullback there. If, you know, and perhaps if he can, you know, stay fit. You know, I think at, at the moment, you know, um, Sewer's best role is fullback, but I think there's some other roles he can play and other positions he can play as well. Um, so that's the way we'll look to use him this year. Um, you know, he's got really explosive speed and probably his footwork is his greatest strength. Um, 
So, you know, you put those two together, he's, he's, he's one hell of a dangerous player. Uh, but like I say, he just needs some, um, some experience and, you know, some game time, some reps in, um, in the NRL. And, you know, we've got some ideas of, you know, how we're going to use him. And it might take us a little while just to, you know, fine-tune that. But, you know, we think he's going to be a, a, a regular first grader this year. Um, he hasn't had such a great pre-season. He, he uh, hurt his shoulder um, a little bit earlier in the pre-season and hasn't done a whole heap of contact work. But, um, you know, when he's ready, um, you know, we'll find a, a spot for him in our 17 and, um, you know, work out the best way to... Um, you know, to use him and, you know, to, for him to play to our strengths and add to our game. Craig, you made a pretty big decision the pre-season, changing the captaincy. Why was Harry Grant the right man uh, to take over and why now? Yeah, well, I, I, you know, at the time I, I just thought it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, you know, Christians, you know, is still a, a, a real leader in our, in our club, but he, he wasn't playing that long a minutes and... Um, you know, I just thought we need a captain out, out there for, a, you know, a, a bit longer time. So, you know, and I think, you know, Harry's, you know, he's got a lot of respect with all the players in our club. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's never one, you know, to take a backward step, you know, he, when he's got something to say, when he's got authority or step forward and, and, and offer that. And, you know, sometimes, you know, like I might say to him, no, we're not doing that, but, you know, he'll take that and, and you know, just go back to doing his role and, and uh, you know, just thinking of ways of trying to help the team. So we just think, you know, and again, he's not that old. He's only 25, Harry, so, you know, we think he'll be our captain for, for a little while. I think you'll be a great leader for the Melbourne Storm, Craig. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Good luck on Friday against the Penrith Panthers. No, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot.